G'day guys, it's Johnny from Vic on Deck and Fence. Is your deck peeling and faded? Let's show you an easy way to restore it without an expensive investment and a whole day sanding. Sun, rain and all other weather elements can take a major toll on your timber deck, meaning that regular maintenance is required to keep your deck in good shape all year round. Many homeowners avoid or miss the maintenance task and end up with a bad looking deck which then requires a complete restoration in order to make it look as good as new. Today we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how to restore a peeling deck sealed with water or solvent-based sealer. After this video, you'll be able to tackle this project in no time like a professional and forget about expensive deck restoration bills or long days of hard work. To restore a deck is basically a three-step process, stripping and rejuvenation, structural check and light sanding, and sealing. Today we're dealing with a 15 year old deck which has been sealed numerous times but neglected in the last few years. By looking at the deck you notice that the timber grain is barely visible because of existing sealer thickness and colour built up over the past years. It was previously sealed with a water based sealer. What we need? Broom or blower, protective equipment like gloves, mask and rubber boots, scraper or filler blade, sanding paper and sponge blocks, 60 to 80 grid, sanding pad with pole or an electric brush decking sander, masking tape, garden spray pump and brush or roller for a roller application, plastic bucket and roller tray for a roller application, few paint brushes, decking brush applicator and tray, a high pressure washer, wood stripper and rejuvenation chemicals, deck sealer. If this part of the restoration is not done properly, then the finish will not be as expected and look patchy. Also, the deck will not take the sealer and it won't last long enough, meaning that all your work will be wasted. To start, we need to remove all furniture and other objects from the deck and clean the deck surface of any debris and dust with a broom or a blower. Always make sure to wear your protective equipment gloves, masks and rubber boots as old shaving of wood and chemical fumes can make you feel unwell. So be careful out there. Once your deck is empty and clear of all debris, you're ready to start the stripping process. Today we'll use wood stripping and rejuvenation chemicals from Vic on Deck and Fence including this wood finish stripper as step one and wood rejuvenator as step two. Finish stripper is a surface penetrating chemical which loosens and removes oil, water and solvent based wood finishes and also organic growth, tannins and stains from the wood. Before application you should shake the bottle well, pouring a small amount in a plastic bucket and the rest of it in a garden spray pump or roller tray. When applying the stripper you must make sure that the surface is not wet before application. Start with the application of the chemicals on the edges first. If you have any paint, aluminium or other gentle surface edges, use the brush and plastic bucket to cut in. After cutting all your edges in, take the pump sprayer or roller and apply the stripper on the rest of the surface making sure there's a minimum of 1mm in thickness. Leave the stripper on the surface for 1 hour and make sure to keep applying water mist on the top of the stripper to stop the evaporation and drying, as it doesn't do its magic when it's dry. To know that the stripper is reacting, the deck finish and surface starts changing colour and appearance after just 15 minutes of application. Try not to walk on the applied surface during dwelling time as it's very slippery and may remove the stripper away from the surface which is not recommended. The next stage is where you really start to see the results. After 60 minutes are up, take a scraper and get to work on different areas of the deck to see how easy the wood finish can be stripped. If the finish is reluctant to come off, then don't hesitate to add a bit more of the stripper and wait a further 15-20 minutes. And again, do be careful as the wood surface becomes very slippery when the stripper is reacting. After you've checked to see if the finish has been loosened by the stripper and you're happy with the results, it's time to get a high pressure washer out and blast away across our entire deck. For a more effective and faster process, I'd recommend using a washer gun with an attached turbo nozzle. Power wash the surface in the direction of the wood grain and don't keep too close to the surface as some soft wood species like pine and cypress may get damaged. Also be aware that wood surfaces with more than six coats of finishes as in our case or on horizontal surfaces may require a second full application of the stripper to remove them completely. 
If you need to do this, before applying your second application, you should make sure the surface is as dry as possible before repeating the stripper application. We've now got our deck power washed and cleaned of any finishes, stains and organic growth. Be sure to check you have power washed the surrounding surfaces as you don't want the chemicals and dirt to dry on their finishes. Once everything has been power washed, you may see the wood become darker than its natural look. This is an expected reaction and it's time to apply our wood rejuvenator to bring it back to a natural colour and remove some existing wood stains. To begin, take a broom or blower and remove the standing water from the surface if there is any. When applying the wood rejuvenator, it's recommended that the surface is damp or slightly wet to stop the chemical being absorbed too quick in the wood surface. Clean the pump sprayer or brush roller used to apply the first chemical before adding the second chemical. Once again, you should shake the bottle well before pouring a small amount in a plastic bucket and the rest of it in a pump sprayer or roller tray if you choose a roller application. Make sure to apply the chemical evenly over all of the surface as it may end up with an inconsistent wood appearance. Leave on the wood rejuvenator for 20 minutes after checking if there are any major stains still on show. If there are, don't be afraid to reapply more chemical on that area and leave for a further 10 minutes. Keep the application wet as the chemical won't work if it is dry. After 20 minutes, power wash the surface once more, then rinse the deck and surrounding surface, making sure there is no chemical left on that surface. Rinse off until all the foam and soap has disappeared. On a sunny summer's day, we'll only need to wait two to three hours, but during winter months, we have to wait 24 hours before going on to the next step. So fast forward time and we'll see you tomorrow. G'day guys and welcome back to our deck restoration demonstration and now we've got the deck dry and ready for the next step is the light sanding and structural check. Before sanding it's a good idea to check if any nails or screws need to be reset. If that's the case now's the time to get it done. As I told you before that finishes thicker than six coats may require a second stripper application which we didn't do and you can see that we've got small areas with some more finish to be removed. All wood cleaners lift up the soft timber grain after application and is highly recommended to light sand the surface using 60 to 80 grit sanders. A faster process can be used with an electric brush decking sander like we have here. But today we'll use a sandpaper of 60 grit attached to a sanding pad and sponge sanding blocks of 80 grit. We're using this option just to demonstrate how we can do this easily and cost efficiently. For this we'll use Hamest Express Natural, a premium acrylic decking oil which we recommend because it's a thick and long lasting product that's available in different stain colours. This deck is 18 square metres and we need two coats of the sealant. One litre covers around 9 square metres of surface, so for the two coats we'll need 4 litres of the sealer. When opening the can, stir or shake to make sure all chemical components and pigments are mixed together. Do the exact same as stage 1 and 2 pouring a small amount in a plastic bucket to use for cutting the edges and areas where the deck applicator is not able and pour the rest on a deck applicator tray. Before starting the application, mask all surrounding edges of windows, door trims, walls, railings and posts to make sure we don't touch and split surrounding surfaces. Now we are ready to seal the deck. Start applying the sealer at four to five boards a time, edge to edge and move forward until the whole deck has been applied. Work your way towards the deck's exit point as you don't want to be stuck in the corner. Wait for two hours before applying a second coat using the exact same process as before. And that's it, our deck restoration is complete and look how amazing it is. We need to wait 24 hours before we can walk on the deck and five days before we can replace all furniture and contents back. It's very important to keep the deck in this condition year after year by doing regular maintenance every 12 to 16 months which will save you from doing the complete restoration like we've done today. What does deck maintenance involve? A regular maintenance includes a chemical surface cleaning and application of one or two coats of sealer used initially. Now you are ready to restore your deck. If you need the materials and tools used in this video, 
please visit our online store at www.deckandfence.com.au. To make it easy for you, there will be a link below this video. Also, if any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks guys.